Hello, 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 everybody. It is Matt, and it is Sinful Sunday, and I am back at you with yet another review. Before I roll on to any of that, I want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that lovely stuff, because life really is too short as is. Do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing your beautiful faces when you are here. I know I'm here an awful lot, but I have an awful lot on my plate to review. And one last little tidbit of information, check out the description box. I give you a bigger bite of every single movie of every single day. Today I give you a brief synopsis, your starring cast, your directors, your runtime of the cut I was watching, along with a link for a trailer. I do not have a link for where you can purchase this one yet because it is not out for, for sale yet, but it will be out for sale through Toxic Filth Video uh, in the near future. Uh, and then also, if you decide, you can help support Matt's Movie Mania and toss me a couple of bucks. With all that uh, said in mind and all that out of the way, let's roll on to the film of the day. And today's is a really wild, very interesting, um, I'm not sure if I like it or not kind of movie. Uh, it came out back in 2013, runs at a, about an hour and 10 minutes technically an hour and 11 minutes almost it's like an hour and 10 minutes and 59 seconds so uh, i just wrote an hour and 10 minutes 10 minutes but uh either way um the last minute is all credits um it is none other than the film known as the last tape what an interesting movie this is it is uh basically two stories going on at the same time um, they don't really fit together the best, but um, the movie works works for what it is. Uh, basically, what it's about is is one story uh, is um, about a guy who is basically um, watching all these tapes and and describing the beauty of death and and. Um, uh, all of that lovely stuff that entails with that. Uh, and then the other hand, you got a couple of, or it's this couple, a male and female couple, that um, are on drugs, are, are taking lots of time to stop and have sex, um, at least twice that I, I remember. Uh, or at least once when we meet them, they're done having sex and they're just hanging out, getting right, getting dressed. And then later on, you see them actually do it again in a, in a really psychedelic kind of uh, 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 aspect. It's really, really cool, the psychedelic stuff. I really liked the cinematography on that. I thought it was really, really uh, um, above average when it comes to, to a movie this this budget, in, in my opinion, I feel like it, it's shot really, really, really well. Um, and now, um, it starts out with um, uh, the guy that's uh, talking about death, and he um, goes and picks up a tape from this other guy. I, I believe it's a tape or whatnot. Um, and then he, this is when he goes on this this whole dialogue about death being beautiful and and all this other stuff. Granted, I had to uh, kind of um, fill in the blanks. This is all in German. Um, there's no subtitles. I had to use um, uh, closed captions and then. Um, auto generate them to English so it's not the best quality when it comes to translating um, what's going on on screen um, it makes no sense in places uh, so I had to kind of uh, uh, translate this a little on my own um, not that that is a bad thing um, that's just a uh, um, makes it made it a little bit harder of a watch not having um correct subtitles for it um not that that it's a bad movie uh then it eventually it goes to the couple like i said they they were having sex they're hanging out in a car 
um, they're having all this talk about killing and and then also about drugs and and just just various other things as well. Um, uh, it's it's pretty incoherent when it comes to that. Um, they eventually meet up uh, and and our uh, guy. Uh, um, besides he's going to uh kill them and it's it's done really really kind of silly in my in my uh my opinion but um it, it worked you know this is um not my my least favorite from from jason um but this is definitely one of those that uh i don't foresee me adding this one to my collection uh, as much as I love German horror, um, this one relies a little too much on the, uh, the, uh, love story side of it a little, a little more than, than I like, um, uh, cause there, there is, there is that whole love story between, um, uh, uh, Isabella and Tim, um, Isabel, I believe it is her name, um, the actress, uh, and Tim Rabin, Rabinstein, I think is the name. Um, but anyways, um, they, uh, they do a good job, I feel like. You know, they're believable as a couple. Um, they just do things that I'm like, that, that makes no sense. You know, like, like, I don't know. They, it's just a really bizarre movie. And, um... It's it's definitely one of the harder ones I've had to review because there's 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 at least information of it on IMDb. Um, it has a paper trail online, um, so there you can kind of fill in the blanks if you do some research afterwards. That's what I had to do, um, but. Uh, I, I, I at least recommend watching this one. Um, I know Jason, he's he's probably going to charge $20 to buy this one, maybe $15. Um, either way you look at it, that's that's dirt cheap for um, a underground limited release of something. Um, especially something that's going to be as rare as this one will be because... Um, uh, Jason doesn't do um, huge amounts of really of uh, not releases of um, of one release. He doesn't do do like a huge uh, huge amount. Like I think he does like anywhere from twenty five to fifty uh, for limited runs. So it's it's um, they're very very limited. So uh, jump on it as soon as you can. Um, otherwise, you'll miss out. Um, so on to the three things that I love my movies to me. First is the audio. Uh, it, it's kind of a mess. It's it's all over the place. Um, there's times when you can uh, um, hear the characters very clearly, and then there's times where it gets a little rough. And I and I and I'm I'm thankful for them them broken subtitles that I had uh, because. Um, Otherwise, I wouldn't have known they were talking about something at that moment. It was so quiet, at least the di on, on the uh, audio-wise for the dialogue. So I'm going to give it a C on that end. Now on to dialogue. Dialogue is... Um, it is what it is. It's It works for, for, for the movie. Um... I, I think it's, um, I'd like to see more from these filmmakers, um, Isabel, Tim, and, uh, I believe it was, uh, um, uh, I can't remember the third, third person that was, um, attached as the director right now. Um, I think that, um, I would like to see more from them to see, um, if they've improved any, um, it, it, what changes they've done throughout their their tenure as directors, 
Um, I, I think it'd be really interesting to see that. But um, in this case, I'm going to give it another C as far as dialogue goes because it is so um, hard to follow because I, I don't 100% understand what is being being said on screen. Granted, I really like the stuff with the guy talking about death. Um, I just wish it was um, uh, uh, a little more um, coherent on, on my end. So, yeah, give it another C. Now, editing. Editing is where it's where the bread and butter lies in this. I think it's really interesting on the editing side. Um, the way they've edited in the uh, psychedelic stuff in with um, uh, the uh, uh, regular footage and then um, cutting both sides of the story together. Um, I think they did a very good job editing it together, giving it a nice steady momentum, a nice steady pace to where it never gets dull or boring. I, you know, granted, yeah, I did have troubles watching this one because of the, uh, because of the, 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 uh, the language barrier, but I still liked it. I still think this is a fun movie and I think they did a great job with editing. So I'm going to give it an, an A on the editing side. So we got two C's and an A. Uh, so I'm going to break it down and give you my final score of one through five. And it's only going to be a three. It's a middle of the road movie. It could be better. It could be worse. It could, it could be, it could be, uh, the Barbie movie. It could be Oppenheimer. It could be anything, but, um, it chose to be what it is. And, um, it's, it's not bad. It's just not great. All right, guys, I love your faces. I'll be back at you next week with uh, three more reviews. Hopefully, we'll have my other channel back up by then. Um, I'm currently in the appeals process, so hopefully we can get Match Movie Mania 1 back online. Uh, until then, we'll be hanging out on Match Movie Mania 2. All right, guys, love your faces, and as always, peace. Uh.